In this experiment, we are going to learn how to measure three-phase power in a three-phase circuit. So, although there are different methods, in this experiment, we are going to see the two-watt meter method, which can be used for balanced as well as unbalanced loading. So, students can go through the theory and procedure given on this link. Let us go to the simulator part to see how to perform the experiment in this virtual lab. So, for the case of balanced load, we can see the setup. This is the three-phase voltage supply, a switch, and fuse is there. And this is the voltmeter to measure the line-to-line -line voltage. Ammeters are there in two lines, and these are the two watt meters. And this is the three-phase load connected in star. This is the resistive load here. So, in this case, we are going to get same readings in the two watt meters. In case we are uh, having power factor other than unity, then we will have different readings in both the watt meters. So, since it is a balanced load, all these uh, values will change simultaneously through this control. So, let us fix the value of resistance and switch on the supply. The meter readings will show and this is a voltage, line to line voltage. This is the current in the line and since it is a balanced uh, loading, so we are having same current and uh, these are the two watt meter readings. So the total power uh, consumed in this three phase circuit is the sum of the two watt meter readings uh, which can be recorded here. So simply we can press fill in the table. All the readings will come here automatically and uh, we can also calculate using this uh, line voltage and line current uh, to cross check or uh, verify this power which is being measured by the two watt meters. So here we can simply use the formula 3 V phase I phase cos phi or root 3 V L I L cos phi. Cos phi is unity in this case because this is a purely resistive load and the line voltage can be used, uh, this voltmeter reading can be used for line voltage and this is the line current. So this way we can uh, calculate the 3 phase power. So similarly this way we can uh, vary this value of resistances to get a uh, different value of what uh, what meter readings voltage uh, voltage will remain same until unless we change from here the current shall differ so we can fill in the table and take different readings in case of unbalanced load all these loads uh, will be different Okay. So, in this setup, we can see this is the line voltage. This also can be different and uh, unbalanced. These are the three fuse. This is the voltmeter connected and here the uh, line voltage will be shown. These are the three ammeters which will show the line current. These are the two watt meters which will show the power consumed. And these are the three voltmeters connected across each load. Since uh, this is unbalanced load, so they will be having different voltage level across them. So let us uh, take some value of resistance and uh, switch on the supply. So all these readings will appear here. And uh, we can note it down in the table by simply clicking on fill in the table. So we can see that uh, there is a difference in the line currents. And uh, if these uh, values are far away from each other, then this current will uh, vary even more. And uh, there's a unbalance in the voltage as well. And these are the the so sum the total power consumed in the three phase circuit is the sum of the readings of these two watt meters. And uh, we can also verify it by calculating the power manually using the voltmeter and ammeter readings. So the calculated power can be uh, estimated using uh, VR IR plus V by IY plus VB IB. So let us uh, again vary the value of resistances and see uh, one more reading. So let us switch on the supply. So this also we can fill in the table. The currents are unbalanced. The voltage is unbalanced and uh, these are the readings of the watt meters and the calculated power and measured power is coming out to be same. So 
while doing it in the record the students can use uh, calculator and manually find this calculated power in their uh, report so we can see that this two watt meter method can be used to measure power in the three phase circuit in case of balanced load as well as unbalanced load thank you